Hey folks, it's Duke here. Hey, today I'm going to take a look at five different uh, hideout floor plans. These will be small travel trailers where the coach itself is going to be between either 17 to 18 feet long, not counting that front hitch part and the back spare tire. Uh, now, all of these are going to have the aluminum construction, uh, which is it has some serious advantages to it. There is pros and cons to both types of siding on travel trailers. The good thing about the aluminum uh, traditional construction is it holds up over time to the weather uh, it does very well they've been built in trailers like this for a long time the advantage of the uh, of the fiberglass is that it's lighter it's not better it's just lighter but on a small trailer like this it's, it's not as big an issue now all of these have a solar panel up on the roof a 200 watt solar panel solar charge controller they have the air 360 wine guard system for wi-fi and digital tv they have the three-year structural warranty uh, all these things are the same as if you were looking at a hundred and thirty thousand dollar keystone montana it's got a frame designed for this floor plan by keystone engineers rotocast holding tanks uh, these solid steps uh, all kinds of stuff but that's not the purpose the purpose here today of this video is to acquaint you with the five different floor plans and we're going to start out with this uh, 176 bh you see it's got the solar flex 200 that's a solar charge controller and a solar panel so it's coach itself about 17 feet long bh is bunkhouse so let's take a quick look at this one we'll go up these solid steps and you can see it's got a bed in the front this one also has a uh, they all are going to have USB and 110 connections up there. This one's got a wardrobe right here. Place to hook up a TV and a backer wall. Windows on each side of this bed. And then this one has a dinette that converts into a bed on a slide out. And then two bunks. These bunks are 74 inches long. That's 6 foot 2. So adults could sleep in here. Grown kids can sleep in here. Uh, there's a window for the bottom bunk, it's closed right now. There's a puck light up there lighting this one up. Uh, and uh, then there is a bathroom in the back. So it's a bunkhouse with the rear bath. It's got a shower, good sized shower, and a uh, well positioned toilet. Now, all of these that I'm going to show you today will also have the same fridge. It's a Dometic fridge or a similar fridge. I think they're all Dometic. Uh, but it is runs on 110 or I mean uh, 12 volt or uh, propane so these work well as for boondocking if you don't need an AC if the weather's not calling for an air conditioner you're almost fully functional with the solar panel and the propane you run your heat your refrigerator uh, the stove uh, these LED lights they don't use much electricity so we're going to move on to the next one this is the 176 BH so the BH is the bunks back there. And then if you won't have questions about any of these specific models, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you. They're all going to have an awning, nice awning outside. And they also all have this uh, Zamp Solar. There is a plug right here where you could put additional solar, like a suitcase solar. So it's got that solar panel up on the roof that's 200 watts. Let's say you're parked in the shade or you want some extra solar. You just plug in a suitcase solar panel. You can put an extension on it and take it out to wherever the sun is. If it's setting that day or it's in the morning, you can face it towards the sun. So uh, if you want additional solar, before you put another solar panel on the roof, I'd consider uh, this using that outlet right there for a suitcase solar. So here we go again, solid steps. Got a grab handle right here, so it's a secure way to enter, enter this 174RK 17-foot coach. Not counting the hitch and all that. RK is rear kitchen. So we are going to open the door. And this one's got a Murphy bed. So the Murphy bed is down right now. It's easy to put up. I'm going to see if I can do it while I'm holding this phone so you can see it. Uh, let's see if I can get this to go up. Got to fold the mattress in. And... doing it with one hand so that's a little bit of a challenge there sorry about that I'm gonna leave that in keeping it real then this thing just folds up just folds over and voila you have a sofa so when you first walk in the door during the day you're gonna have a place to put your phone your keys place to sit down window on each side so you can see what's going on outside these windows are closed down but I can open them up 
So you come in and you sit down, you can change your shoes. You can see that long prep area for the kitchen. This is the RK and it does have a lot of kitchen storage there. It's got that fridge in the back, microwave up top. Uh, there's a backer location for a TV with hookups. And then you got this slide out here. If you want another bed, you can make that into a bed for a smaller person. And there's some drawers down there for a little bit of auxiliary storage. And then you've got the uh, bathroom in the corner over here. This is a very nice functional floor plan. There's some cubby storage up there. There's a place you can put a coffee pot right there out of the way and it's got an inverted outlet. So you, you just add a uh, inverter to this one and it'll work in conjunction with that solar charge controller and solar panel. And even if you add an inverter, uh, then you wouldn't even have to be plugged in to plug in a 110 to these inverted outlets like this one right here. You could get an extra battery. Say you want to run a CPAP machine, but you don't want to go to an RV park or plug in. You just want to do some camping out on that Bureau of Land Management or National Forest Land. Now, all these have this Air 360. It says activation required. You have to put a router on them, but it does have that Air 360 uh, wine guard system that you can see right there. All right, moving on. That's number two. Let's go to number three. All right. So we. It's going to be the 186 SS. This is a foot longer, still a single axle. So the trick, sometimes people want a double axle. You know, the real trick is to, is have good tires and rotate your tires, keep an eye on your tires. Because if you have a blowout, single or double axle, it's going to damage your rig. You don't want that. You see that LED lighting is on right now. That solar charge controller is powering this one. There's no battery, but the lights are on. That's great. Got the solid step, a big long uh, awning there. So this, that, that 186, so this is 18 foot coach itself approximately. The overall length of the rig is gonna be longer. I'll go ahead and tell you on this one, it says on the inside of the door, the SS is a super slide. So let's check out the super slide. And it says this one is 23 feet long from the very front of the hitch to the uh, spare tire in the back. So you see it's got a bed there with an inverted outlet right there at the head of the bed or this could be another inverted outlet right there usb connection you put your phone and stuff there charge it up overnight keep it handy see the lights are on there's no battery in this one now the super slide has a jackknife sofa and a uh dinette so this jackknife sofa you just pull this up and it turns into a quick bed right there and there are three drawers underneath it and then uh, got the kitchen over here and the Dometic fridge that we looked at there's the microwave right there it's in a box but there's a microwave for this particular one so you've got this big slide here and you got lots of storage this is versatile storage in this one it's got a uh, wardrobe in this particular compartment here that goes back here so it goes it's pretty deep you can put your stuff you don't use back is back there if you don't use it as much and then these other compartments are good for pantry space or clothing so they're separate from that so you can mix it up this could this would probably be good pantry space underneath there you might want to fold up some clothes got additional pantry so whatever you want to use it for it's up to you however you want to travel all right so let's check out the next floor plan this one's really nice though it's the super slide 186 if you have questions about any of these let me know i'm just trying to give you a little overview on these keystone hideouts so i was talking about the construction features on these they have a single piece floor uh similar to the way they build them again on the all our high-end fifth wheels uh, they've got color-coded wiring uh three-year structural warranty all different kinds of things this is like the least expensive house in a very nice neighborhood about a, almost a fourth of all the RVs you see in the on the highway are built by the Keystone Corporation and these are quality RVs you can buy something this size this shape uh, but you want something that's going to hold up and they have a, a really proven track record I'm here at Holiday World of Katy and my name is Duke and I'll be happy to help you this is the 177 RD 
all these are about the same size now I, I particularly like this model right here in terms of panoramic view that's some RV luxury that's what you're going to experience in any of these it's luxury it is a luxury to be to get out and travel America and have your own little private suite it's not a contest you know the people with the really big rigs they got to pull those up a side of a mountain you may want to go more places and do more things something a little bit more mobile in a place that you could sit down right here in the morning have a cup of coffee look out the window at the mountains or the water or whatever it is the woods so we've got these here at Holiday World that's where I am Holiday World of Katy yeah just sitting here thinking about enjoying camping in this rig right here how nice it would be it's going to be nice for somebody somebody that wants to move forward and invest in the present that's what it's all about you can invest in the future but just like in the Jim Morrison rock and roll song the future is uncertain he says the end is always near it was nearer for him he died at 27 so I, I, I don't think that's a you don't want to do that you don't want to be a member of that club you got the AC here on the wall right here uh, that is a less expensive AC to replace it will do the job in this trailer uh, as far as keeping it cool it, it gives you a little bit less uh, height on the trailer so that's the advantage most of these other ones have had a, a roof AC this particular one has it on the side right there on the wall there's some storage right here fairly deep you can use that for pantry for clothes whatever you've got some pantry space up there the kitchen or galley area whichever you want to call it now this is still a two-way fridge it's a little smaller than the other ones we've been looking at but it's still the same concept it'll run on propane or electric and it does have a freezer you got to have ice cubes you got a place you can make ice so you can keep this thing running while you are en route to your destination just check your local your restrictions on the highway some places you can't run propane underneath a while well, you go through a tunnel in a mountain so I don't want to make any claims about that here is the the bathroom right as you walk in the door walk in the door straight ahead bathroom is right here right next to the bed if you want to get up use the restroom get back in bed all right no big deal very convenient this has this uh, puck lighting here you got an inverted outlet right there well positioned toilet with a little bit of hip room there and leg room all right your private singing studio in there all right so this is a nice one lots of view lots of rv luxury right here and you've got a wardrobe on the side where you can hang up your clothes if you've got some place you want to go this this is a nice rig right here i'll be happy to get you more details on it i'm duke my cell phone number is 281 four six seven zero six five nine i'll put it in the description below just trying to cover these floor planes that's the 177 rd and now we're going to look at the last one that was the fourth one we're going to go to number five 179 rb rb stands for rear bath it's a 17 foot long coach not counting all the hitch and spare tire so you can see this has all the same features I was telling you about that Zamp solar connection. It's got you can't see it, but it's got a 200 watt solar panel on the roof on this one. They all do. Uh, it's got the Weingard Air 360. This one has the uh, uh, roof AC, big awning, solid step. Now these uh, jacks on these, uh, you just hook up a three quarter inch uh, bit on a cordless drill. They will retract very conveniently and uh, they're very reliable so uh, th there's some advantages uh, whether you have power tongue power jacks this does have a power tongue jack no it doesn't have a power tongue jack this is manual it's no big deal this thing is easy to turn I'm raising it up no big deal lowering it down this one it's not that heavy of a tongue weight apparently it's a beautiful RV this is why they've been building RVs for a long time and it's worked really well Traditional construction holds up great. Don't trust anybody if they tell you that the fiberglass is better. It's just different. It's a different way to go. Uh, it, it's going to be a little lighter again on these smaller RVs. That's probably not as big an issue. So the 179 RB got the bed up front. Now this one 
If you want a bed, you can walk around from both sides, a north-south bed. This is the one you want to look at. And you have your wardrobe on each side. And you have a uh, 110 and USB connection up there. I don't know if you can see that. You have this wardrobe you can hang up close. And you still have a dinette on a slide out. Makes into a bed. Got the roof AC. It's got a bath in the back. And here's your galley area kitchen. All the standard stuff. This one doesn't have a microwave in it right now. You can, you can get a microwave and just plug it in. Buy one for $50 at Walmart. That's what I did on my rig. Uh, but it's up to you. Whatever you want to do. Some people don't want a microwave. I, I use it. It's nice to have make oatmeal in the morning. Stuff like that. If you're plugged in. It's got that Dometic two-way fridge run on propane or 12 volt now here's the rear bath so the bath in this one it goes the full width of the coach so when you're in here you've got a little bit more room to get ready you got a ton of hip and leg room around here if you need extra room uh, on the toilet no problem showers got a good footprint to it so you can fit in there and it's got a shower curtain so the advantage that you hook the shower curtain in there if you you know it gives you a little extra elbow room when you have a shower curtain and of course they come with kind of flimsy shower curtains just like if at home you're going to put whatever fancy shower curtain you want to put in there it's your rigs where you live when you're out traveling so thanks for viewing my video i will be happy to help you with any of these floor plans uh, or any other ones check out my channel i got a bunch of them on there make a lot of videos so you're welcome to view them all uh, I'm your video host, Duke, and I work here at Holiday World of Katy. I work in sales. This is the 179RB. My phone number is listed in the description below. Just click the link. I don't know if there's a link. Just call the number. Wait, click on the thumbs up button if you're in the mood to click on something. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to hearing from you.